Wholesale. Wholesaling. Give me a second. Wholesaling, folks. That's what we're doing today. It's a battle out there getting started in wholesaling. It's tough. It's like a freaking wrestling match. Who's your favorite wrestler? Me? I, f I feel I'm Brock Lesnar, but I do like the Tribal Chief. Uh, you know, um... As a kid, I liked Shawn Michaels, but, you know, of course, you also had Stone Cold. But, like, this show is literally not about wrestling, so I don't know why I'm on a tangent about wrestling. Get back to real estate, Jay Wise. All right, folks, wholesaling, okay? That's what we're talking about. Our MFers out there telling you you can't get started in real estate by being a wholesaler? Well, fuck them, because you can. But our people out there telling you you can wholesale with no money. Fuck that too! Because that's a lie. There is a little bit of money required to be a successful wholesaler. And I'm going to walk you through that because I'm going to walk you through a real wholesale deal that I'm partnering with somebody just like you. Somebody doing their first wholesale deal, just getting started in wholesaling, right? So we're going to go through the deal, go through the legalities of it, right? Because a lot of what those other people out there are teaching you isn't even wholesaling. It's illegal brokering, and that's going to get you in a lot of trouble with Johnny Law. You don't want that, right? So if you are trying to get started in wholesaling, motherfuckers, let's go! This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. I am James Wise, and I am jacked to get going on this particular show. We are doing some wholesaling. For my dude, Elliot. Elliot is in Portland. And the fact that Elliot is in Portland is incredibly important to why he's working with me, why he's partnering with me on this wholesale deal. Here's the deal, folks. I said it at the beginning, right? Fuck those motherfuckers that are telling you you cannot get started in real estate by wholesaling. It is absolutely possible to start your real estate business via wholesaling. But... What's more dangerous, more scary, more alarming than those motherfuckers that tell you you can't start by wholesaling is those motherfuckers that tell you you can start with no money. That is a fantasy. That is not true. They're selling you a course, a book, this or that. You do need money, folks. What they're out there teaching you. There's a million gurus saying you put it under contract, you make it contingent on your partner approval, and then you just assign the contract to somebody else and you collect your assignment fee, right? You've heard that before, okay? Do you know what an assignment fee is? It's a commission. Do you know what collecting a commission by finding a seller and a buyer and putting them together is? It's brokering real estate. And guess what? In every 50 states of the United States of America, you need a motherfucking license to do that. So everybody telling you you could do it without a license, they are going to get your ass in trouble with Johnny Law. So you do need some money because you actually need to close on the property if you want to wholesale. And that is, again, why it's so key that Elliot's from Portland and he hooked up with me. Why? Because Ellie don't have a lot of money. He's got like 10 grand to work with, okay? You don't need a bunch of money. But if you have to close on the deal, which you do, you ain't going to be able to wholesale in Portland with 10 grand. No, 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 no. But don't you worry, folks. There are a lot of markets in the United States of America. I happen to represent one of the cheapest ones, the Cleveland market. And $10,000 is going to be enough for me and you to knock down a deal together, Elliot. I got a quad, a four-unit apartment building. I'm going to show you how to wholesale, make yourself a fatty paycheck, and stay legal doing the whole thing. And we're going to get into the numbers, get into the full deal right after this. But before we jump into that, folks, if you want to get started in wholesaling with your boy Jay Wise, you want to stay legal, you want to do it the right way, you don't want a bunch of guru smoke blowing up your motherfucking ass, I want you to click the notes under this video. Ah, vidya! This vidya under this video and book a free call with my team. We will walk you through the process of starting with me to get your own personalized videos because this deal, 
I sent this to my dude Elliot privately, right, via uh, email, right? I only released these things publicly in Holton Weiss TV for you guys to learn after the fact. So y'all can't wholesale this deal, right? It's already done, Ben did, right? So without further ado, Elliot, let's jump into the numbers after this. Man, I hate those other real estate gurus out there. Those real estate gurus that lead you guys to believe fairy tales, lead you guys to believe in magic, lead you guys to think that there's gonna be genies granting your wishes if you buy their course or their program. Like there's gonna be hot girls in bikinis just popping out. That's not the real life of a real estate investor. And here on Holton Wise TV, we give it to you straight. Welcome back, folks. We are going to wholesale a quad today, and we're going to stay legal. We are going to stay legal. Staying legal is the biggest thing when it comes to wholesaling real estate. It just drives me nuts uh, seeing all the guru crap, the guru smoke, the guru fluff being fucking blown out of everybody's assholes teaching everybody out there like you that you can get started in real estate with no money because all you got to do is find a property like this, a distressed asset. Look at this motherfucker. Obviously, we got a distressed asset, folks, right? You, you can't tell me that this is not what distress looks like. We've done that, right? We've identified a distressed asset. Check. But what they tell you, what these gurus are teaching you, that what these gurus are calling wholesaling, it's not wholesaling. It's brokering real estate. They're saying, hey, you just write up a purchase agreement. Tell Mr. Seller you're going to buy it, but then you can't really buy it. Then you're going to find a buyer who can actually buy it, and you're going to tack on like a $5,000 assignment fee, and then you close it. You never needed any money. What did you do in that scenario, folks? What you did is you brokered real estate, right? I don't get why uh, so many people are confused by that, folks. Brokering real estate is when you take a buyer and a seller and you connect them and you collect a fee for that, right? I know that because I broker real estate. I'm a real estate broker, folks. I've sold $200 million worth of properties just like this one, okay? And we're going to do this deal for like 10 grand. So do you know how many $10,000 buildings you got to sell to get $200 million in sales? I know what I'm doing. And in every state, all 50 states of the United States, a license is required to broker real estate, right? So do not fall for that guru crap, okay? It don't keep you legal. And then number two, you're probably not going to get your offers accepted because you have to do a 30-day close uh, to give you time to find your end buyer. In addition, you got to put contingencies on there so you don't lose your earnest money in case nobody actually buys it from you. You're probably slapping that some bitch on Craigslist like that's ever going to fucking work. It won't. All that is garbage. And that, hopefully, is why you are still here with me because you could partner with me and we're going to do this motherfucker the right way. We're going to make money legally, ethically, and we could actually get deals done, right? This deal, it's fucked, but that's okay. You don't have to find buyers for that. Let me do that, okay? I run Holton Wise TV, folks. I've sold $200 million worth of this stuff. I got like 60,000 subscribers to this show. Nobody's got a bigger uh, footprint in this market than I do. I got the buyers to buy it, right? But guess what? They're not going to buy it for 30 grand because nobody's going to buy it for 30 grand. That's way overpriced. And that's why it's been on the market for 109 days. By the way, the address is 14620 Lakeshore Boulevard, Cleveland, 44110. This is the ghetto, right? T to be frank, it's the ghetto. Uh, but that's okay. I'm familiar with the neighborhood. I know the true ARV here. I know what I can do, right? I am in with local Cleveland investors who would be interested in doing projects like this, but they wouldn't pay 30. They would probably pay 20 with my marketing. I would set it up and get this out to them, get all the answers answered for them about what they need to do, provide them a video tour, all that stuff, all stuff you don't have to do. So I would sell it for 20, right? So that is our end price, folks, 20 grand. Now, what does that mean for you? For you to make a reasonable profit, for you to make some money, if I'm going to sell it to them for 20 grand, you can't pay 20 grand. Obviously, what you can pay is $8,000, right? So you would buy this for $8,000. You got $1,000 in closing costs. So you'll be all in for nine. Let your boy JYs flip it. I will sell it for 20. I'll collect my fee. And at the end of the day, I make 5K. You're making 5K, right? Now, here's the thing if I could sell it for 20, 
to like burr investors and local contractors and stuff like that how can you buy it for eight right well here's the thing it goes back into the legalities of wholesaling that i already spoke of right i said outside of keeping you legal we're going to do it where you have a better chance of closing right because the brokering real estate model, which, again, is illegal, but let's just, just like push that to the side. Let's not even talk about that. The brokering real estate model requires you to submit offers to sellers that are fucking weak, right? Real estate agents, we're not stupid. Okay, well, like 90% of real estate agents are stupid. So that a lot of people are going to be able to see through that crap, though. You don't even have to be a good real estate agent to see through a wholesaler's offer, an offer that's probably not going to actually go anywhere, right? When we see things like a cash deal with a 30-day close, red flag that this motherfucker can't actually close the deal. When we see things like a super low earnest money, like $200, $100, we know that guy's not actually closing the deal. When we see things like contingent on inspection, contingent on inspection, look at the son of a bitch. It's destroyed. Come on. Inspect what? You can see it. Go there. There's no lockbox. The thing's open. Avoid the crackheads. Seriously, they will kill you. But inspection, come on. Or when we see things contingent on partner approval, we know they're garbage offers, right? So. Wholesaling the real way, the right way, requires you to close the property. That's why we're going to make super lowball offers, but I'm going to get them to stick. Now, everyone won't stick, but that's part of wholesaling, folks. You have to send out a lot of offers. So you got to know your ARV. You got to know your ARV, and that's both your ARV when you sell it at the wholesale price and then what the end buyer is going to like, get after they rehab it. James Wise does all that. 200 million in sales. You don't have to worry about that because these are all things you'd have to learn, right? You have to find distressed sellers. You have to find the right wholesale price to make the offer, get the offer to stick, understand how to actually put together a rehab bid, know what your uh, burr type buyer, investor buyer is willing to pay, what they can get. You got to know how much money they'll make before you can make your money, right? I do all of that, okay? That's why I'm going to take a 5K profit. You're going to take a 5K profit, right? But here's the thing. 8K is what you need to make it all happen. If you can't buy this at 8K, it's too thin. You don't want to do the deal, right? But I believe if we do it my way, we have a much better chance of getting the offer accepted. Why? Because we're coming in with an offer that's better than all those other fake wholesalers' offers, right? Their offers are 30-day close. Ours will be 10. Their offers require partner approval. Ours are, here's the motherfucking offer. You can get the money, no strings attached, in like 10 days. Oh, and guess what? Their $100 earnest money deposit, which they're going to try to get back, boom. Here's a $2,500 earnest money deposit, no questions asked. Literally in 10 days, you get this deal, right? The sellers are going to be attracted to that. And what this seller has done is they've overpriced it. They've shot the price too high, and now they've had 109 days on the market to think, oh, man, maybe nobody will buy my building. My building is so distressed. It's so terrible. Maybe nobody really wants it. Maybe there really isn't a value here, and they're getting scared. So we are providing them the key to Easy Street, right? All these other offers, they're backing, backing out. Deals are falling apart. They have all these contingencies. We come in, we look like a shining star, right? We're like, yo, eight grand within 10 days. The money's in your pocket. You never have to think about this. You don't have to wait for an inspection. We're not going to get partner approval. No contingencies, no questions asked. And if we flake, boop, our earnest money, we don't get it back. Things like that, right? That's how you get lowball offers accepted, right? So the whole thing is going to work by you getting a lowball offer accepted. And that is why wholesaling this way is not only going to keep you legal, it's going to allow you to get better deals. Because if you got two $8,000 offers, one is a $2,500 non-refundable earnest money deposit closes in 10 days. The other is contingent on partner approval, a fake fucking partner, really? God, all these like weasel claws other wholesalers are teaching you guys, they're so garbage, dude. They are trash, right? Uh, partner approval, inspection. Inspection, what are you? Dude, I'll inspect the property for you right now. Watch, here's my home inspection. Uh, okay, wait, let me get a better look at it. All right, hold on. I got to get a good look so I can really inspect this. All right. Yeah, this is fucked. This building's fucked. You know what's broken? Everything. Inspection complete. Why does the other offer need to have an inspection contingency? Like, what more do you need to know? If it can be broken, it is. Folks, duh. That's why clean offers get deals done, and you need lowball offers to be accepted. So 8K, 
Let's go over the numbers one more time. 8K plus closing costs all in at 9K. Your boy JY sells it to Burr Investors uh, using his fast network, right? 60,000 subs, folks. Come on. $20,000 selling price. At the end of the day, I make $4,995. You're going to make $5,005. You want to get started in wholesaling, this is the way to do it. Let's go. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.